when the virus changes its method of attack, uh, we as a, as a country have to change our method of defense. Chinese citizen journalist Zhang Zhang has been sentenced to four years in prison for reporting on Wuhan's COVID-19 outbreak during the early months of the pandemic. Several European countries have introduced travel restrictions on people coming from the UK. Antarctica, one of the most remote regions in the world, and has been COVID-free until now. The first cases were reported earlier this week. In Denmark, millions of minks will be caught. It's because of a mutated strain of COVID-19. Spread from the animals to humans. Could mean the country's mink industry, the largest in the world, disappears altogether. Several countries across Europe are preparing for a confined Christmas. As restrictions have failed to curb the rise in daily coronavirus infections, Several countries are imposing new lockdowns that go well into the new year. If this doesn't work, are we facing a third wave in January? Sweden's king said his country had failed in its handling of COVID-19. The lockdown in the Netherlands was announced to the sounds of anti-lockdown protesters whistling and banging pants. South America has been hard hit by COVID, especially in Brazil with an average of 40,000 new cases a day. Now more Americans dead from COVID-19 than in four years of battle during World War II. Italy is considering a further tightening of measures over Christmas as the daily death toll remains close to 500. South Korea is warning it could soon be faced with a critical shortage of hospital beds. Here in the UK, 60% of the population is now living under the country's maximum level of COVID restrictions. Almost 3,000 truck drivers are stuck between the UK and France. Quebec France reported a single day high with more than 2,300 The new variant of coronavirus is out of control. Finland is experimenting with a real-time COVID-19 testing method using dogs. Because they can smell COVID days before a patient develops symptoms. Today we add an important chapter in our fight against COVID-19. 